So this is the face of someone who has purchased zero gifts so far. We are doing really well in the Christmas department this year. Um, normally I suck pretty bad with the gifts. I'm definitely a procrastinator. But this year I'm just really, really bad. So in my defense, I am currently sick. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just cannot breathe. And because I cannot breathe, I cannot sleep at night. So I'm just very delusional at this point. But. I do have this little guy. I have the orange ones of these two, but this one is red because Christmas. And yeah, I don't even know what is this. Immunity Rebound Shot with Elderberry Probiotics Areola Cherry. No, not Areola. Uh, Acerol. I don't know that word either. Uh, it's got cherry, vitamin C, and zinc. So hopefully this will help nurse me back to life. I've just been counting these, so I don't know if it's really gonna help me but what I do physically need is a large large cappuccino espresso or something because like I said I can't sleep but we are going to stop complaining because tis the season to be jolly not tis the season to be a whiny little bit <laughs> no I'm just kidding but seriously we have to remain holly and jolly so we can accomplish all of our Christmas tasks like I said, I have a bunch of shopping to do so you guys can join me as I run around like a mad woman. I also have to go to the liquor store, so we will pop in there. You guys can shop with me as I buy all the booze. So yeah, I am just going to head on out. Currently sitting in my driveway. And yeah, it's like literally, I think 10 degrees outside right now, so perfect weather perfect but we're not complaining we are not complaining love love the cold we love a cold snowy frostbitten day when we have to be outside running in between stores okay we're done we're done I'm not familiar with this one get your hump on this Christmas interesting it's the most wonderful time of the year so hurry down the chimney tonight I read somewhere that the Santa baby like the total of everything she's asking for for Christmas is like one billion dollars <laughs> and that is totally I mean that is a big mood right there I would seriously love to go back to that era when all these like old school Christmas songs were recorded and experienced Christmas then I feel like it would just be so like glamorous obviously there's like wars and stuff going on and all of that but just to experience that Christmas like it just seems so glam and just like old Hollywood movie star black and white movies like that kind of vibe I feel like that would be gangster 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 two full five okay but on a serious note how am I supposed to remain holly and jolly when I don't even get a festive snowflake cup testing me there was a short line though so i can't be mad you guys look at this prime parking spot that i just scored front row tickets to home goods so pumped no line at duncan front row home goods it's a good day to be alive i feel like home goods always just has like really cute gift ideas they're just like things that you probably wouldn't think of like all these like cute little ice buckets and ooh, look at this a matte black martini glass love that oh my god a jacket for my wine that's cute this is always a really really good gift i have mine and clearly use it all the time this one's cuter than the one i have it's like rose gold or like copper with black there's me i'm doing pretty good it's only a matter of time until i dump this coffee everywhere though so i got quite a few things I didn't spill my coffee, and we're doing good. All right, next up is the liquor store, filled with amazing gifts. Pretty much everyone in my life drinks alcohol, so 
can't really go wrong here. Obviously not the children, but you know. I'm actually not familiar with this liquor store, but I didn't want to go to the one I normally go to because it's like the size of your mom's bathroom and I would feel uncomfortable. I've actually had this one a few times. Um, the Smoking Moon, coming home with me. Oh dear. There's a lot of glass bottles for me to be knocking down. This one is good. I don't feel like spending that much today, but it is good. This is one of my favorites. I'm just stocking up here. Um, Josh is usually pretty good too. Um, I have to try the blend. I'm actually looking for Justin though. Where the frig is Justin? Well, we'll have to settle for Josh. Joshua, you can come with us. These are both two pretty good ones and they are cheap. Might grab a bottle of this. This one is good too. So I found Justin. I don't really want to spend $30 for him though. So we're gonna keep looking. We go through too much wine to be buying expensive bottles, unless it's like a gift, you know? Wait, this one, one of you guys actually sent this to me as a recommendation, so we'll take that. And then this one, I always, oh jeez, whew, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> um, this one, somewhere lately, the uh, bloggers that I follow, they have posted about this before too, so um, I don't know, is there like a discount if I buy more than 35 bottles? <laughs> and then lastly, I'm going to pick up some tequila, where is the one that I want? Um, ah, Casamigos, this one's pretty good trying to take a cute thumbnail in the middle of the liquor store with 7,000 people here very cute the store manager is just like following me around probably about to kick me out but sir I am a paying customer who is talking to themselves he's just watching me <laughs> this is why I went to a big liquor store but Still, I'm about to buy all this. He probably thinks that I'm like undercover cop or something. Relax, buddy, I got you. Okay, so I got all of these for a grand total of 146. Wow. Merry Christmas. So damage was definitely done, 146. It's not all for me. Anytime we like go to like a holiday gathering, we bring wine, you know, because that's what good guests do. Obviously I drink it while I'm there, but you know. Also the kids who work there, I'm calling them kids because they, they look like they were young enough to be like my child. It's just so ironic when they're asking me for my ID to see if I'm underage. Are you underage? You look like you're about four. Okay. Are you gonna do a cheer? What is that? What is that? What is happening here? Go. I, I was a cheerleader. Ew, it's just so weird because I'm not like a cheery person and I wasn't even at the time, so it's just very strange that I was a cheerleader. But anyways, um, we're gonna make a margarita. I know that I'm sick or whatever, but I really wanted to do another like festive drink for you guys because so many of you loved the spicy cider margarita that I did back in the fall like so many of you sent me pictures i was so happy honestly it was wicked good so i don't blame you guys and i tried so many like fall cocktails at bars and none of them lived up to mine so i thought i would share another margarita recipe if you don't like tequila there's something wrong with you um no i'm just kidding if you don't like tequila you can definitely sub it out with like vodka or white rum or i guess just get rid of the alcohol altogether if that is not your thing do you but we're gonna be adding tequila today because that's just my favorite i don't know when i order a cocktail i feel like i like it the best when it is a margarita or a dirty martini but i don't know how to make one of those so i probably should learn because those are wicked good also Ooh, look how cute he is i'm trying not to strangle you but he's literally so big like i can't even pick him up he's like so large do you see how large he is He's so big, look at his head, it's bigger than mine. So I don't have like a fun, cool name for this recipe, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But it's basically pomegranate, cranberry, a little bit of like orangey flavor, and I also got these rosemary sprigs, just to be festive and aesthetic. I don't think this is really gonna add 
much flavor because I'm just gonna like stick it on the top and try to be cute and all. But yeah. Also, I tried out this super cute glass that I found at Home Goods today. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be buying gifts for other people, which I did, but I thought, you know who would like this? Me. And also, it's perfect for what we're doing today. So, you know, it's part of my job. My job required me to purchase this, is how I rationalize that, so. Okay, so I just grabbed my ice out of the freezer, put it in my shaker. Also grabbed my tequila. I like silver tequila, white tequila, whatever you call it. And we have these pomegranate aerials. Aerials? I'm not sure how to say it. Aerials. Aerials. Not sure. We also have cranberry pomegranate juice, agave syrup. I have two different kinds of seltzer here. I have cranberry clementine and then mandarin. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. They both give like a really good flavor. So I'm not really sure about that. And then a little bit of lime juice and maybe a fresh lime if we want to do a garnish. But David, don't start. First, we're going to add a shot of tequila an ounce of this cranberry pomegranate juice an ounce of lime juice is this an ounce i don't even know a shot a shot is an ounce right i don't know i was a bartender at one point can you believe that and then i'm gonna take the cranberry clementine flavor do an ounce of that a small drizzle of agave So now for the rim, I'm not sure if I want to do salt or tahini. I think I'm just going to do salt, but you could do sugar. I personally do not like sugar on a margarita. I feel like it's just too sweet. I need the contrast of the sweet and salty. So I'm just wetting the rim with some of that pomegranate cranberry juice. And then, oh, <laughs> I thought I was really about to do something right now. Of course, let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. Hey, I always think I'm so slick and then it's just like, no, you're not, stop. <laughs> you are certainly not slick. Damn it. I knew it wasn't gonna be red enough. Well, you know, all those commercials, they're adding food coloring probably, so it's not gonna be as Christmassy as I hoped, but I'm not gonna dilute it with juice, that would just destroy the purpose. Okay, so then I'm gonna take some of these pomegranates, sprinkle them in. You could do cranberry too, but I feel like cranberries are not good to um, just take a bite out of. And then boom, this wins an award for the cutest drink of all time. Sorry to everyone else who's entered, but this is super cute. It's, it's more of like a white Christmas than a red Christmas, so Let's come on up and give her a taste. You guys, this is seriously so good. And do not skimp on the rosemary. A, it looks really cute and pretty, but also I feel like as you're drinking it, like the aroma of it makes it feel Christmassy, you know? Otherwise, I feel like it would just kind of taste like a regular margarita almost, but no, this is so good. Oh, it's so refreshing and crisp. So I'm gonna finish this up really quick and then I'm gonna come back and make dinner and do a little chef stuff. And I think it's pasta. I have a HelloFresh box and I think the last recipe left is pasta. And I mean, it doesn't really go with margaritas, but that doesn't matter. I could eat pasta with, you know, lemonade. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> you bought wine? You bought wine. We got eight bottles and now we have, what's that? Green label. Yeah, I don't have enough money for blue. <laughs> Maybe next year we'll have a better year. Maybe Santa will. Maybe next year we'll get a better year. Hey, these are good. Who made these? All right, so for dinner tonight, Chef Steph is calling in HelloFresh, which is a godsend right now. HelloFresh is sponsoring this video, but I work with them all the time. I really love their recipes, their food. It just makes my life so much easier because 
it's Christmas time and I don't feel like going to the grocery store and I like that you can you know skip weeks and change up the schedule because next week is Christmas and I don't need HelloFresh to be delivered but this week it's coming in clutch so tonight we are having the chicken penne a la rosa which looks like this it's chicken penne roasted rep is it penne or penne I don't know but it's with roasted bell pepper, fresh oregano, and it looks super good. This is one of like over 20 recipes that they have. So they always have new fresh recipes like every season. I don't think I've ever made the same recipe twice just because I like to try new things. Um, but yeah, all the recipes are super easy and user friendly, not user friendly, beginner friendly. If you're not good at cooking, do not be intimidated. So we're gonna get to cooking. Oh, I have to grab my apron. If you guys didn't see my last cooking vlog, one of my lovely subscribers sent me this custom-made Chef Step apron, and I am obsessed. So we are going to get to cooking. So I just chopped everything up, the bell pepper and the oregano. And I'm gonna put this on a baking sheet. I sprayed it with some cooking spray and then salt and pepper, and then I have the garlic over here so I can roast the garlic and the peppers. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven. So while that's roasting, I'm just cooking up the chicken breast, which I love that it comes already cut up in strips. And then I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some of that oregano. So then I'm gonna boil the pasta. I'm gonna use a combination of this penny that they sent and then this red lentil that I have. And I really like this. It's a little bit like lower in carbs. So I'm just gonna mix these up together. Dave is always trying to eat my apron. Do you want me to get dirty? <laughs> That's his thing. He loves to just... <laughs> what are you doing? Do not bite sweaters. <gasps> Be nice boy. What are you doing? <laughs> so then for the sauce, I'm going to add the tomato paste and a little bit of pasta water. I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, and then some of that oregano. So I just took these out of the oven. I'm just going to chop them up really quick. Then I'm going to add the cream cheese to the tomato paste. Then I'm gonna add all of this, the chicken, the peppers. It also calls for some butter, so I'm just gonna put all of that in there. And then obviously, more cheese. This pan is way too small for the amount of pasta that's supposed to go in there. Whoops. All right, so here is the end result. Well, this looks really good. Definitely looks like a chef stuff type of recipe. We are just gonna eat it straight out of the pan because who wants dirty dishes? Not me. Um, so yeah, HelloFresh is now, let me find the code for you. HelloFresh is now from 566 per serving. Go to hellofresh.com and use code Stephanie90 and get nine free meals. That's $90 off your first month of HelloFresh, including shipping, purchase required. I had to go to New York City and do this video shoot and I had to say these lines and they were trying to have me read off a teleprompter but I'm blind so I couldn't do it and I was trying to memorize them and I was just I couldn't do it I literally could not do it I was getting really sad but now I'm just gonna eat the pasta oh oh my god it's so good don't show my white shirt it's wicked dirty it's not a white shirt that's a brown shirt Merry Christmas ho ho ho